This is Dennis Burke, Business Broker World, President and CEO, coming to you today with another topic. Today, I want to talk to you about the art of owning a bar. You see, bars have a special, unique attraction for many, many different buyers. I've seen a trend over the years, and people generally want in to the bar business because they find it an exciting and social experience. Now my own uh, background has been that I grew up in the bar business in Ireland. My parents had a bar, my uncle had a bar, my grandparents had a bar. And you know, if you go to any small town in Ireland 40, 50 years ago, it wasn't uncommon to see 20, 30, 40 bars in a small town. Bars are social beasts and they attract a lot of people with social personalities, those kind of people who like to meet other people and have personalities that enjoy working with people. However, I want you to understand that there are lots of misbeliefs about bar ownership. And that is the core of my purpose today, is to share with you some of these misbeliefs that people have. One, they believe that they can own a bar with minimal to no money whatsoever, 20, 30, 50 thousand dollars. And let me assure you that in order to be successful in bar ownership, you need to at least have anywhere between $150,000 and $500,000. Because when you go in to bar ownership undercapitalized, you put yourself at grave risk of eventually running out of money and having to shut the doors. The second misbelief that people have is that they will make a lot of money. And you know what? That's true, but only true for a few. The reason being is that a bar can be like a slot machine in two directions. For people who really, really know about the bar operations and how to run it day to day and have background and experience in it, yes, they can make a great deal of money. But that is not the majority of people. The majority of people get in the bar business maybe because they think when they were in college they, they were able to uh, serve bar and they enjoyed it. Or because their uncle in Chicago owned a bar, they think that they can do it also. Or maybe their uh, brother-in-law in Boston owns a bar and can help them and because of that they conclude that they're going to make a lot of money. The other misbelief that people have about owning a bar is that you can hire a good manager and you really don't have to be present that much. That absentee ownership is fine. Well let me tell you this, if you own a bar be aware you need to be there mostly all of the time. It's going to require you 50, 60, 70 hours a week of your time, your energy, and your emotions. There is no real such thing as absentee owner hire a manager. Why? Because the bar business, it has a lot of moving wheels, pieces, and parts to it. And people, let's face it, will steal from you if you don't watch your business and your money. Another misbelief that people have about owning a bar is that um, it'll work itself out over time, that they will prevail no matter what, that uh, I have been successful as the vice president of ABC Corporation, or I have been a CEO of this other uh, construction business or maybe this jewelry chain of stores I've owned uh, that business and but because of my background and experience in other businesses and because I was previously successful in other industries 
yes, that makes me qualified to now succeed in the bar business. That's probably one of the reasons why so many people fail because if you don't know the intimate details of how bars operate, the ins and outs of them, you can fail very quickly. If you've been thinking about buying a bar for a long time and have done already a great deal of research, then give me a call. I will be happy to sit down with you and help and guide you in your decision to make a wise bar investment.